Hey everybody, welcome back to another film of the week. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel as of late. Uh, uh, after this film of the week, uh, we will be starting the What Have I Seen Lately series, so just be on the lookout for that. And uh, I was going to do a, uh, a different film for this week, uh, but I have that one uh, slated for the next one. Um, after the What Have I Seen week is done. Um, because I... I was meaning to watch this film within the series, um, but I didn't realize that the 50th anniversary was uh, was actually pretty soon. As of the recording of this video, it's actually tomorrow. So, um, so I figured I would just do it now. Um, that film being Enter the Dragon, um, which forgive me, I forgot who directed it. I believe it was Robert Klaus. I believe that's his name. Um, uh, starring Bruce Lee uh, as. Uh, as a martial artist, as he is uh, hired on to investigate uh, uh, a tournament that's coming up uh, involving a man named Hans, who is who may be responsible for um, the killing of of uh, of uh, women in in recent uh, in in recent uh, uh, findings uh, within a certain investigation. And uh, what's also related to uh, to Bruce Lee's character is that uh, Hans also has a, a history with his family and with his uh, his uh, sister in particular, who was killed. Um, so now there's a a personal uh, agenda at play here, and and that's what sets him off as well as other companions um, to what really is about. Uh, agendas at play and the motivations behind those agendas, some of which being personal and some of which being selfish. Um, and I think that what the film offers um, in terms of, because I mean, you know, when you go to a movie like this, obviously you're in it for the, the spectacle of it, the action, the choreography. On that level, there is some entertainment to be discovered and um, Albeit it's it's um it's thin and mostly through slow motion, which I find to be kind of which I feel kind of undermined of the action itself. Um, the entertainment of it all though is still there regardless. Um, what I have to say though um, that I noticed quite a bit while watching the film was there's a um, I believe it's also thematically uh, within it. I'm not sure if, if it. I mean, it's it's hard to tell, but there is the presence of of uh, of misogynist and you know uh, uh, basically male toxicity at this uh, as a as a point in the film. Uh, I'm not sure if that is deliberate or not, but um, I'm gonna say it is. Um, so just to add another thematic quality to the film, um, um, but. Uh, getting back to what I was saying, uh, saying though earlier, uh, that was just something that I just noticed um, that I just wanted to bring up. Um, the thing that I noticed a lot about Enter, Enter the Dragon is that it's very ego driven, and what I mean by that is that it's a film that is more interested in um, how the how how Bruce Lee looks on camera versus the actual character of Bruce Lee. I mean, what care what what care what the idea of Bruce Lee's character. It's mostly held together by that of one's ego, really, and their drive to look as powerful as possible. Um, because you know, a lot of the times when Bruce Lee is doing the stuff that he does, he's you know he's he has uh, his muscles super flexed out and pumped out. I, I I don't know if he just got a pump in or if he was just maybe took some roids. I don't know. Um, but um, but I also think that he is his. He's also f inspired by um, two things. One, one of which I believe is Toshiro Mifun. I'm, I'm, I think that he has taken some inspirations from him, but more so, absolutely, but and in, in just overall with Enter the Dragon is a heavy emphasis on James Bond, um, and it acts m that way more so than it should, or or that it has any right to be. I mean, the echo, the music echoes that, um, and, I mean, the villain itself even has, like, a metal hand, you know, or, and it has, like, the gadgets and stuff like that, um, and you get exaggerations, and, um, you know, there's times of dis that, you know, dispension of disbelief needs to be, uh, present, um, 
that just makes things mostly hollow and you know there is an inclusive quality to it you know, i was surprised to have to have seen um to have seen uh such a uh a wide range of uh performers you know it wasn't just uh cult- culturally uh pacific um so i found that to be interesting um and it wasn't just there for an agenda of sorts it was just it was just that just that way you know um but I found it to end, and mostly just try it very conveniently. Um, I think the performances, while while inclusive, I felt to be very hollow and just notably absent, um, and just also just <laughs> notably exaggerative. Um, and within its exaggeration, it's also like unintentionally hilarious. At this, also like there's times where I was just laughing out loud because of its exaggeration, not really by. Um, real intentional comedy because i don't if there is any comedy it's you know pretty minor um so i found it to be very uh self-centered very you know like full of itself um and it's really you know a, a vehicle for bruce lee really if it's just something for a vehicle for bruce lee to use to just show off essentially because there's been a debate you know about you know bruce lee's you know personality and I mean, if Enter the Dragon is a representation of that, which, I mean, to me, it feels it feels in some respects it is, um, because of just how much of an emphasis it it makes on Bruce Lee's, um, you know, uh, how they like utilize Bruce Lee, you know, just the way he he moves, the way he looks, the way his 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 aura, like it just it just it just soaks in, um, um, in ego and is mostly driven in that way um and with that i just found myself like in the in 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 the presence of something that just feels very self-indulgent and you know not um not as involving because you have developments that are pretty that are you know just they're just pretty insignificant performances uh within within that that are just pretty hollow um and like I said, it this is more James Bond than it has any right to be. Um, like, I was, I was really surprised to see that, um, you know, and, you know, um, I I think that, um, like, like I know it to be driven that by by ego because of the depiction of its of its character. Like it just, it just acts that way throughout and. What you get is something that is, I mean, like I said, it's entertaining, but it's also disposable. Like, it's, and it's also self-indulgent. Um, you know, it's just there for one particular purpose. And though there is um, fun to be had um, at certain points, um, it's, it's not enough to, um, to, to win me over. It's just, it's just little spots, you know of of enjoyment within what is really uh uh a uh a a vessel for one's ego so so those are my thoughts on enter the dragon um i thought to be i thought it to be pretty just pretty mediocre um but you guys want your thoughts on enter the dragon uh if you guys have seen it um i i didn't really think the choreography was all that impressive but you know uh, that's just me but you guys know your thoughts in the comment section below and that's gonna be for me guys thank you guys for tuning in uh and i hope you guys will enjoy the what have i seen lately week next week so hope you guys will enjoy those videos once they come out and that's it for me guys thank you guys for tuning in and until then i'll catch you guys in the next video which is of course the beginning of what i've seen lately so i'll see you guys then